Welcome inside Track and Field with Coach Lionel No. I'm Brian Staten as the Tusculum Pioneer Indoor Track and Field Competition just wrapping up for the regular season, but we still got one more competition to go. We're joined by Coach No and Coach, I, I know it's excitement uh, getting things underway and getting those going. Um, what, how was this season leading up into the South Atlantic Conference Championships? What type of challenges uh, did your group face as you go there to compete for the first time in an indoor setting for the conference tournament? So the first thing, and thank you for having me here today, first thing is uh, we have a, a, a large pool of freshmen, <laughs> a few transfer students, so you know, having a few leaders, uh, that was a challenge, but you know, I think things are moving the right direction. So uh, that was the first thing. And uh, I think I'm glad we, we got through to the championship, you know, we finished sixth with the men's, ninth with the women. Uh, the men's, I think we have a larger number of, of uh, student athletes, mm -hmm. And we were very fortunate to have uh, some of the football players that transitioned into the technical events, throws and sprints as well, and so on. So that was very helpful. You had some of the long distance runners compete very well. And I think that's another program that's coming along in cross country into the, the track and field. Your women's team was pretty strong. Talk about their challenges that they faced this season. Definitely, uh, it's, it's a great transition. I think Coach Pratt and, and Coach Paul, the assistant coach, have done a phenomenal work with them. Uh, we've lost a few students throughout the whole process, you know, and that happens everywhere. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think they've stepped up, you know. I think they understood from the get-go, those young men and women, that we'd, we'd, we'd have a long season. You know, for them it would be a whole lot longer than the regular indoor-outdoor track athletes, but they've stepped up to the plate. It's a definite plus when you can bring in those football players, as you said, and I think Coach Odom really takes advantage of that as well. And I think those two programs really help each other. It added some strength to your team, obviously. We'll talk about Wichard coming up, but mm -hmm. what does it provide? Uh, strength in numbers or just raw talent? Uh, numbers, no, I still have to bring some you know, people, uh, new student athletes, but it does help in terms of you know, scoring points. You mm -hmm. know? And now the, the challenge is to also like, uh, help some of these young men learn the technical skills. Some of them are very strong, they transition from football, but then you still have to work on the technical skills. And Coach Paul has done a phen phenomenal job with that. Uh, so I think they'll do even better outdoor. It's, uh, yep. it, it's one of those things. Was, was there an expectation coming in with such a wide variety of, of student athletes that you were going to have? I've had to bring a lot of uh, students. You know, uh, 40 was the number requested. I think we added 53. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, you, know, you, you have to have students that can be eligible. Uh, do well academically and so some of them they're working on their grades and next year will be even better I think. Uh, the one thing that I want to point out is we, we uh, scored pretty well you know in, in the indoor outdoor uh, if we compare to other two teams that also came up this year that were mm -hmm. new teams Catawba and, right. uh, and Newberry. Challenges you faced in the South Atlantic Conference championships for indoor and, out, and for the indoor track. It, I, one location, one day, um, mm -hmm. and I think it pre presented some challenges. So what was it like that day for you? So, uh, you know, everybody was at the disadvantage, I think, with the, uh, the facility. Uh, JDL is, has a lot of potential in certain events and some weaknesses in others. A flat track is not ideal, really. And then one day, try to compress everything in one day, makes it where you don't really have a chance to, uh, you know, for student athletes, you don't have the chance to make finals and recover and get ready again. So that's a challenge in itself for them. Uh, and uh, you just can't miss the opportunity. Yeah. So that's the thing, you, you really have to be on point and execute from the get-go. I think you, your group did that as well. And I think that was one of the challenges that they did face, no question, but uh, it's always a learning curve. And I think for everybody, and I think everybody's learned through this season, uh, what needs to be done and how they need to, to go forward to compete. And I think Richard Gravel did that, um, lowest time, 6.77, 60 meters. And, and I knew coming in as a freshman, Coach Odom said, you know, he's a tremendous pass rusher, but he's probably a better track star. Um, what was it like to have him, just that raw talent, to have him out there for your, for your squad? Well, it's, uh, he's an exceptional young man. I think he brings uh, leadership, you know, and uh, it will probably transcend on – a group of four by one may be doing well um, because his energy is great on the track. He executes, he does the work that we ask him to do. And I think that's just uh, great energy mm -hmm. that can just be passed along to the rest of the group too as well. It, it, we have some other guys yeah. that are pretty talented. You had some of those and uh, you know, were there some surprises for you this year? 
Um, uh, in terms of other yeah, just uh, other some competitors. Athletes. Yeah. Yes, we had uh, uh, Jay Boyd, who's also another football player that did pretty well on the men's side. Uh, I think he's he's capable of doing a whole lot better than he has. He should be able to go over seven meters. Uh, hopefully, maybe qualify for nationals as well. Uh, all theory is one young man uh, who's from Florida as well. All theory Leontes, and he's a hurdler, and uh, he hurt himself early in the season, so he couldn't really deliver better performances. But I think uh, he's getting back on right on the right track. So that's another young man. Uh, on the women's side, we also have a lot of potential. You know, I, I can think of Brianna McDonald's, who mm -hmm. also has uh, encountered a little injury. Uh, we have some quarter matters, uh, Fauna hurdlers. Uh, there's Cassia Griffith and uh, you know Raging Minus from Bahamas. So we have a very diverse group, and I think they all bring a lot to the table. Richard, to make nationals, what's what's that like? Is that I mean, should we be like, wow, that's just a huge shock? What a great honor! Or what is that a testament to? And 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 for him to make it in the first season. So yeah, it is really uh, exceptional. You know, first year, first program. You know, at Tusculum College, and uh, we have one young man who made it to 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 that level. Uh, he's 11th in the nation, so I think he's totally capable of uh, making the final, and who knows what can happen in the final. You know, every man is beatable, mm -hmm. so I think he can execute and he can win. He has a great shot at it. Uh, and like I said, I think you know, it will fuel to the rest of them, uh, and that can, that can impact a program from the get-go. So we're very fortunate. Impacting program, uh, no question. The, the ability to train all the time and I think that's a big plus here at Tusculum with the indoor facility that you've got here mm -hmm. did that help in any way in preparing your group for this indoor track season now, there's not a lot of programs that have an indoor facility where you can participate and do some of this stuff so how much of a key was that for your program this year so yeah for a small institution having a soccer dome like we have you know and the climate that we have as a challenge sometimes here is great to have that because on the on the days where we have bad weather, we can go in, we can still do certain things, we can maintain, we can work on certain technical skills because we brought some equipment such as sled, sleds and uh, hurdles and things like that, you know. So we can, we just have to kind of plan, you know, uh, day by day sometimes on those, uh, on those little challenges. But other than that, you know, we have a track not too far from the campus and uh, uh, we have heels here, uh, things that we can utilize to, to get better and stronger. All right, going forward, outdoor season as well. Um, the competition there, you talked about some, some uh, athletes that may have had some uh, injuries, some, some dings. Is your outdoor season typically a little better than your indoor season? Um, or how do you see outdoor season and what do you hope for your, your squad this year? So I think, you know, outdoor is always exciting because track and field, out, outdoor track and field, you know, you have a, a 400 meter outdoor track, you can uh, execute better. Uh, it's less tactical, you know, mm -hmm. 200, 400, even the 400 hurdles comes in place at that point. So you have a few more additional events like that, you know, that can, in the hammer, in the, in the throws, you know, in the discus. So it, it becomes a little bit more exciting, I think, you know, that's, uh, that's definitely for sure. Oh, hey, it's been an outstanding season, I'm sure. It's been challenging for you as well. Um, things that you've learned going forward that will help you um, continue to make this team and this group a lot better. Um, I think, you know, day by day I learn more and more, but uh, delegating has been a little challenging for me, you mm -hmm. know, uh, but, you know, uh, between myself, Coach Pratt, Coach Lane, Coach Paul, uh, I think we've done a pretty good job and, and we'll get better, hopefully. So. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Coach No. Congratulations to Richard Gravel. Best of luck to him. Of course, you can follow his path in the national title and the national championships with uh, TouchKillandPioneers.com online. So you can go check that out and uh, follow Richard Gravel's path. And of course, the outdoor season as well. For any other athletic news and sports and updates, visit the TouchKillandPioneers.com site. For Coach No, I'm Brian Staten. Until next time.